time for you, boy. We're bringing in the big guns now, birdies. Finna get that. Finna get it. <laughs> We got your Brody filling up with some water there, beaters. Let's do it. Flood some burrows. Yee -yee. This was the site of a nice little border battle between us and Mexico with tanks. Now, I've had several panic attacks because I've seen so many good places for spiders that I, I peed myself twice. He had, to, he had to help me calm down. But we are out here and it's nothing but Cribs. I own this entire town. I'm a great man. <laughs> Judge Roy Bean, Museum. Langtree, Texas. Law west of the Pecos. They knew how to treat criminals here. You broke the law, you hung by the neck. Till dead. Dead! Dead! You done something? You get the death. This is my favorite barbecue joint up in here, boys. You get the best barbecue in the world here. Hey, Jim Bean, where you at? Whip us up some. Memipede, memipede, memipede. We found a nice little scorpion with babies. Never seen that before in the wild, seen in pictures though. Are we gonna keep it? Uh -uh. I wanna take some good pictures of it though. Get him, sis. Dang. Get that dang old cow. Get him. Get him. So ferocious. Bust of Lang Tree. The arachnid biologist is searching for his elusive prey. You can see the determined expression upon his face. He's got his hoodie on. He's looking for the Hogna Caranoli. He checks for scent. Has he found the boo beggar? He has not. Another day. Jumping spooder. Jumping spooder. Jumping spooder. Jumping. That's a nice sized tarantula. Probably gonna take it back, breed it and help to regrow the population in this area. Yee, 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 yee. Let's play how many black widows are in this house. One. Let's 
to. Hey, Josh. Yeah. Come check out this bootlegger. Hold up. This is a different species than we are used to. There's a black. A three. There's a black. A four. A five. But look at this bootlegger back here. No, that is a, um, funnel sheet weaver, Tegenaria species, I believe. We've been looking for several species of spider, but one we've been looking for, we have just found for the first time. This is the large huntsman. The golden huntsman spider. Oleos giganteus. She's Only not focusing, Josh. Can you fold this around the side of another one? No, but I can hold it. You sure? Yeah. Right in that crevice that you can hardly see is the spider. It is a giant huntsman. Josh is going to try to coax it out of the crevice and then catch it on the rock face. We are about six miles to the... Holy crap. Holy crap. Let's get over to the truck. Let's get over to the truck so we can see the This is not, now this is not a uh, full grown man. But darn is that sucker impressive. We'll get, uh, after all this, all the hunting is done, we'll get better videos of all of them. Again, we're about, oh, we're probably 10 miles east of Langtree on Highway 90. He's the kind you see in those funny videos from Australia that freak you out. There it is, beaters. Get it, boys! Another one. Done. Boo, beggar chasing. Now, what are we doing this time? We're going to get us a boo beggar. What kind of boo beggar? Hogging the boo beggar. We're out here looking for hogging for the experiment now. We're going to get some. We must now perform the sacred ritual, please. Oh well. Oh. Ah! Okay, we're good. Now we can find him. Hogness check in. They don't check out. Please narrate. The great arachnid hunter has seen many successes. He's going to spray you today. This is his best. This is a vinegar rune. Josh has been looking for one since Ace. This is the first one we've seen. Tonight has seen two true huntsmen and now a vinegar room. Come here, bud. This vinegar room is called so because it, although it has no venom, of which to capture its prey with. For predators, it's also known as what's called a tailed whip scorpion, rather than tailless. That little tail right there, at the base of it, there's a gland which sprays acetic acid about seven times stronger than the kind you'd use in baking and cleaning. 
which is the vinegar. That's the main acid in vinegar. And it dissolves the exoskeleton of predators or uh, bugs and prey alike, and it gets some of those pinchers right there up in the front. This is probably the most amazing find we've ever had in this area. And it's just, it just, it keeps getting better. Keeps getting better. You know what that is? Mm. That right there. What is this? This is a western diamondback. Probably three or four years old. Also known as a coontail rattlesnake. He was crossing the road right in front of us as we walked by. He's pretty docile at the moment. But he's not happy. And I'm not really happy with the grip I've got on him. So we're going to get him in the bag and we're going to get back to you. Back at the apartment. All settled down. We have the vinegar room here. We have all the hogness we caught as well as all the ones that we have for the experiment. It's currently like one in the morning. We have the... Get along with the camera. Olio striganteus, both of them. Hopefully male and female. And then the vinegar room. Nice size adult, maybe even gravid female. Then we have our friend, our special friend. He's looking so handsome this morning. Oh, there he is. He's so beautiful. Or rattlesnake. We haven't named him yet. We decided what to do with him. Got distilled water in the in the closet. My dad is having a panic attack right now from handling it. That's it, beaters. Say bye, boy. Bye, boy. We're out here second day. Um. Going on Juno Road, uh, Devil, uh, Devil's River area. And we just came under this underpass. And look what we found. Now that looks like a thing right out of your nightmares. But what that actually is, is that is a clump of harvestman spiders. Well, not, they're not spiders. They're arachnids. They're closely related to spiders. But they're not. Now what they do is that is what they're doing is they're all clumped together and you can see them kind of get disturbed because they are this is like a state of hibernation or uh, keeping safe while the, in the heat of the day and then they'll come out at night but they all clump together and it's a big one and here's some more over here a little bigger one now I'm not freaked out by a lot of things but yeah, that looks a little freaky. Now, you want, if you want to see something really cool, Dad, you want to come over here. So you're out of range. What happens? There's a nice black widow. I'm going to show you what happens when they're disturbed, when, say, a predator comes by. Look at all them dang suckers. How much for me to grab it? Mm -mm. How much? I'll grab it. Mm -mm. I'm gonna grab it. Mm. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Let's get out of here. That's cool. That's cool.